زكريا الشرادي المنسق الجهوي لمجموعه كاليوب هذه الورشه التكوينيه تندرج في اطار التفعيل وتنزيل الاتفاقيه المبرمه ما بين الاكاديميه الجهويه للتربيه والتكوين جهه فاس مكناس ومجموعه كاليوب لنشر التاليف والتوزيع واللي من بين الاهداف المسطره في هذه الاتفاقيه وهو التكوين المستمر بالنسبه لاساتذه اللغه الانجليزيه القطاع العمومي والخصوصي وكذلك الانشطه التربويه بالنسبه للتلاميذ ومن بين هذه الانشطه التربويه والمسابقات على سبيل المثال سبيلينغ بي وبابليك سبيكين والنجاح ديال هذه الورشه التكوينيه هو بمساهمه والانخراط ديال الاساتذه ديال العمومي والخصوصي في هذه الورشات وحنا دائما رفقه الشركاء ديالنا من داخل ارض الوطن ومن خارج ارض الوطن دائما غادي نحاولوا باش باش نساهموا في تنزيل في تنزيل استراتيجيه الوزاريه ديال منظومه التربيه الوطنيه اللي تتنص في قانون الاطار على اعتماد اللغه العربيه واللغه واللغه الامازيغيه كلغات رسميه مع انفتاح على اللغات الاجنبيه وخاصه اللغه الانجليزيه وتعميمها في افق 2030 في جميع المسالك وحنا دائما نرى الاشاره ديال اي تكوين واي تظاهره وان شاء الله نكونوا عند حسن الظن. My name is Simona Franzoni and I am the editorial director of the LE Publishing Group. We are here in Morocco for a week of teacher training together with our partner Kaliop and we are meeting a lot of teachers of English to promote our courses but also to promote the language, the English language teaching. Um, I would like to thank the Academy for having supported us in this uh, week of training. We are meeting a lot of teachers and we are getting to know how teaching works here in Morocco, which is going to be very, very helpful for us and also very productive also for our collaboration with our partners here in Morocco. These workshops, which are carried out by Vanessa Raid Estevez, our speakers, are about the importance of developing skills in language English teaching. We've got a session on reading and another session on vocabulary. And we meet in teachers from middle schools and also secondary schools and also teacher trainees. And another important thing is that through these workshops, we also show some materials which we hope which will be used in the, um, in the schools here in Morocco. Workshops and training are very, very important for teachers of all subjects, but especially for English teachers. It is an opportunity to confront and to share what everybody knows and also to deepen everybody's knowledge and competences. And it is also a way for trainers from other countries to get to know what happens in Morocco as in other countries so to be able to share together and put together everybody's competencies and work better in the future and also train better teachers which will have also um, the benefit to work with better students as well. Hello, my name is Larbi Arbawi. I'm the director of writing programs at Olive Seed Foundation and I'm here you know representing Olive Seed and with our partners, Calliope, very glad you know, to be here among them and to attend you know, a very interesting training session for the teachers of English in Morocco. So we are here together to help promote teaching English in primary, yeah, secondary, private and uh, all the public schools in Morocco. So our mission is one, our hope is one, is to help all the teachers deliver their lessons in a positive and uh, appropriate way. Thank you. Hello everybody, so my name is Aya Jouéhar. Uh, I'm a primary school teacher uh, in Florizon, and I'm glad to be there to help the students to increase their level in English language. And inshallah, Lyuma is for Calliope, the company, اللي من ضمننا هاد التريني سيشن مع واحد الاستاذه معروفه و اي وونت ثانك ذيم فور ذيس اوبورتونيتي تو هيلب ذا تيتشرز تو باش يزيدوا في اللانجويج ديالهم ويزيدوا في المهارات ديالهم هلو ماي نيم از عماد ام ا هاي سكول تيتشر ات دينيا سكول سو فيرست اوف اول اي وود لايك تو ثانك كاليو فور انفايتين اس فور ذيس ايفنت ذن ذا كوتش ووز very energetic, the program was very rich in order to improve our skills uh, in teaching our pupils. So uh, thank you very much. And I think it's uh, this opportunity should, should be repeated each time in order to improve our skills and uh, 
our teaching methods.